Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a brand new spanking episode of the Cologne Podcast. I'm Mike. And I'm Ryan. And we're just two best friends going on a fragrance journey, starting a podcast, smelling things, giving you uneducated opinions, claiming we're going to quit, then deciding not to. <laughs> and here we are today, Ryan. <laughs> Listener request, RXL209 asked us to pick up gray flannel, and we've done it. For you. That's right. We got us a big, juicy bottle. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> there you go, RXL. Even though you offered to give us your full bottle of this, I said, no way. If RXL says it's good, I'm just going to blind buy. I trust him. <laughs> out of all the YouTubers reviewing fragrances out there, if I'm going to listen to somebody and blind buy, it's going to be RXL 209. <laughs> and sure enough, by Jove, I did it. <laughs> Went to Amazon, <laughs> spent 14 bucks. <laughs> and now it's here. That's right. We're going to be taking a look at that. Speaking of taking a look, let's take a look at Fragrantica yes, with the review from Stinkerweed, <laughs> who says, this one is a classic. Oh, yeah? <laughs> a masculine floral with longevity. A little too long lasting some days. <laughs> Bold, which may account for the name, a real 1980s sort of a scent. Damn! Entirely possible to put way too much on. Woo! Woo! After I read that, I said, you're going to love this, Ronaldo. Dude, I am going to probably love this. I love big, juicy 80 smells. Mm, they got to be juicy. <laughs> We're going to see just how juicy it is. But first, let's get into our one night stand review of Office by Fragrance One and Jeremy Fragrance. Power! Hit the music, Todd. Yeah. One night stand review. Well, Ryan, after waking up and uh, throwing your backpack on, running out in your tidy whities onto the beach, doing some push-ups with yeah. Jeremy Fragrance. My meaty clackers swaying to and fro in the wind. Just clacking in the wind. <laughs> what did you think of Office? I like it. I know you do. God, I can't <laughs> believe I fucking like it, dude. Yeah. I can't believe I like this shit. This dude's so fucking wild, man. I really didn't think I was going to like it. When we got back in here, I was smelling the car. I was like, man, I really like this record. Yeah. I mean, you just bought a brand new bottle of the EDP version of Blue de Chanel. I did, yes. Not too long ago. And this one does really remind me of that with some other designer inspirations in there, too. It's like Sauvage, but for me, done a little bit better because I really don't like Sauvage opening. It's not so that whatever that smells, but it's close. It's not overdone. And it's like a mixture of that a little bit of Blue Day Chanel. And I'm just like, man, this is a fucking nice fragrance. I cannot believe it. Yeah. I'm really shocked. Like I was, like I said in the episode, I was ready to freaking run the gamut of jokes about 360 it. 360 tomahawk dunk on it. and Dude, no look freaking passes onto the fucking <laughs> three point shooter. Mike's ready to tee it off. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but it's like, man, is it's good it's I not mean, bad for me it's pretty good i still say the original asking price way too goddamn much right right not a slight him i understand he's a one individual he probably can't come up with the prices that estee lauder can you know it's <laughs> right. like i get that but it's just too much but the fact that he's i don't know if he's still doing about the time of the, the episode prior to this him having 60 percent off and we were saying what was like 70 something bucks for yeah, ml. under 80 yeah it's worth it for me it's a buy i agree Agree. At that price, you're getting 100 mil. I think that's a decent purchase for sure. Yeah. On my skin, the dry down, it wasn't aquatic. I almost expected it to go aquatic, but it was close. But it's also like over 100 degrees now in Texas. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell if I just smell bad or if the fragrance goes buck wild. Who knows at this point? Because yeah. we, we all sweating. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to stick with it, man. They can crucify me. I'll be next to Jeremy up there on the cross. <laughs> <laughs> but, on that golden cross chain necklace. <laughs> yeah, but man, I I like it, man. And if by some way, somehow, I'm not saying any of this, just try to get him on the show because we're too small. He doesn't give a fuck. He already kind of made that clear that he doesn't talk to anybody that's doesn't have a million followers pretty much but would he not be wild to have on this fucking show he would be but if he turned down chris from fragmental he's definitely turning us down so uh, man probably so yep i mean might as well just speak truth to it he is he's probably didn't even know we exist and 
our little world. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but <laughs> I don't think it's going to do anything, man. <laughs> Well, I feel like you're trying some like reverse psychology thinking it's going to get out to him and it's going to like speak truth to his inner being or something. He'll never, ever. <laughs> Good Lord. But Jeremy, if you are listening, <laughs> the fragrance, not too shabby, my man. Sound choice. Yep. That, there you go. So there's our one night stand review of Jeremy Fragrance's Fragrance One Office for, for men. men. <laughs> All right. And now the moment we've been waiting for. Mm, a little gray flannel tipping back the bottle for all our homies named RXL 209 out there. Yeah, it looks like a, a cheap wine bottle. All right, let's spray little it up. Little Farm. Let's spray it up. <laughs> <laughs> God, please let this be amazing. Okay. Ooh, that does have some old school clackers on it. Ooh, man. Ooh, I feel like that's got that uh, that bottom note that you like about them Rosia doves. Man, this is a little interesting. Hmm. Out the gate, guys. This shit's fucking loud. And does a little bit of the opening kind of smell like Dior Jewels a little bit? Man, it's been so long. Bill S. from Chicagoland. We need to go back and smell that again. I know, because this has got a little, little skank on it. It do it do. You know what I was thinking immediately? What? Forbes should smell this. Yeah. Because he likes Neroli Portofino and that Neroli, some of that undercarriage of Neroli does give this type of vibe to it. Man, this is pretty badass so far. It is, it's rugged. That's for sure. To say that this thing's got some clackers on it is an understatement. It's like if Brute had a giant hairy set. <laughs> Let's just be real. If Brute had a deformity going on and it was had a sack in a like wheelbarrow. <laughs> Brute with elephantitis or something. Yeah. God damn. Good Lord. Yeah. Woo, baby. That'll wow. I can see what they said about this can be oversprayed very easily. Dude, you have four fluid ounces of this shit, dude. Good fucking luck, man. I think we're going to have to send this out to some listeners. Oh, my God. That's... I want to see what the dry down is. Now, if the thing is like this drought, this is going to be a little pungent. Yeah. She's... Whew, she's strong. She, I can't believe how cheap this is and how strong. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's get into it. You were saying it's getting quite a bit of hype online, or at least, at least it, halfway popular. It was halfway popular. It has tons of interactions on Fragrantica. A lot of people screaming back to the old school. This is definitely what old school fragrances were about. They were very unapologetic. They didn't care if they whipped it out and threw it on the table. Yeah, let it flop right down on the table. <laughs> Look, man, for uh, 120 mil, you can get that pup for 13 bucks. That's cheaper than Giorgio Beverly Hills for men. Yeah, what are you paying, 17 for that these days? Yeah, that was th <laughs> three ounces. God, this wow. is crazy. Man, I could see if you, did, if you didn't go ham on this, God, one spray around your neck, I could see it being uh, not too shabby. Man, yeah, you got to be careful because this shit is manly god i feel like they like spray this in like funeral homes or something to cover up the scent of dead bodies that is crazy before they cover them with gray flannels yeah <laughs> dude there's straight up a dior jewels thing going on here and quite possibly that makes sense just because they're all kind of old school fragrances and that yeah. might have been what was kind of hip at the time so right but man I'm, but i think this came out before jewels damn dude Speaking of being hip, I did a shoot last night and oh, the model was very young mm -hmm. and it was like, normally I feel kind of uncool, but I felt really uncool at this shoot. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> at one point I went to give her a high five. It's almost like she didn't even know what the hell I was doing. Oh man. Are we like, is a high five not a thing anymore? Uh, or do I need to dab it or some shit? I mean, I think people like bump. Like fist bump now? Yeah, you know, COVID kind of ruined a lot of things for people. Well, Lord, she wasn't born during COVID. I know, but people are like germaphobes and shit. So. Sure, yeah. Either way, I felt super uncool and unhip. I could probably get behind that. <laughs> <laughs> the lady who did hair, which she's younger than me, was saying like, you just got to get used to not being cool around these younger peeps. She was like, these people, they don't want to interact with you at all. They want to Snapchat their friends or whatever. Yeah. And they really think you're like the lamest thing on earth. Damn. 
And she was like, and that's me. And this chick's super down with like all the lingo and stuff. Wow, man. Straight up child of the culture. Me, I'm like, what? <laughs> So let us know what you think about Mike's midlife crisis he's going through right now. I just bought this Corvette. It's red. <laughs> it's convertible. I'm spraying gray flannel all over me whenever I get in that bad boy. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so hilarious, man. If you live like me, then there's no big surprises anymore. I'm pessimistic about everything. I've always thought I was a loser. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I didn't think I was cool by any means, but like you try to interact with people yeah. and get them hyped up. It's just hard to read. This younger audience is just hard to read. They just don't give a rat's ass. Who blames them? Everything's fucked. Dude, I get it. I'd be a pissy mood too all the time. If I can't imagine being a youngster right now. I can't either. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Imagine paying $5 of gas right now and you got a job that pays. I mean, I'm not saying this for all youngsters, but let's just be fair. Yeah. The entry level to job market for a younger person is not good. We've all experienced it. Could you imagine? Yeah, working an hour just to buy a gallon of gas. Fuck. <laughs> God damn. Good Lord. Yeah, so gray flannel. <laughs> You'd have to work two hours to buy this gray flannel there, youngin. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, when it comes to bang for buck, this thing is banging. I don't, the, I'm not saying good or bad. I'm just saying it's loud AF. The part that's coming out to me right now smells, does smell similar a little bit to the opening of like Neroli Portofino, which I'm guessing is Neroli. Right. It's honestly not that bad. I mean, I kind of dig it. I do too. But let's get into it then. Who do you think is wearing this that only requires one spray? <laughs> The top notes do have Neroli in it. Does it? Mm-hmm. Well, then I would say this is a Neroli forward fragrance. Yeah. But who is wearing this other than RXL 209 on YouTube? Yeah. Who's wearing it? Man, I really think it's somebody early 50s. Yeah. They uh, wear white V-necks. They got the hamburger meat going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd have to be a little old school to wear this. Yeah, I think if you are rugged looking mid 40s. For sure. This is more for boomers <laughs> and if and not for millennials. Zoom, no, oh. for Zoomers. Oh, yeah. Is that the Generation the, Z is the Zoomers? Oh, no, I think it's Generation Z, then Zoomers. Then Zoomers? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like Zoomers are the ones like everything happens so fast. Like everything. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes of fame is like them getting like, I don't know, a million views on TikTok for dance like a freaking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we know that guy. That's funny. Why the fuck? I'm going to get, I got to talk about it for a second, but why the fuck is TikTok so fucking popular? Why wouldn't it be short videos that make you smile? But they don't make me smile. Every time I look at TikTok shit, I'm like, this shit is fucking cringy. Yeah. I had a Dallas shoot and one of the ladies there was like, hey, look, my friend did this thing. Watch the TikTok. Yeah. I'm like, all right, show me the TikTok. And you know where they like all the wives at a get together secretly buy all their husbands the same shirt and make them all wear it to a get together. Oh my God, so stupid. Yeah. Well, she was showing me that and I'm like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I've seen it before. Look, let me dunk off on it. Yeah. What? Guys are dumb and the women tell them what to wear like little children and we just <laughs> blindly do it. I get it. I get the point. <laughs> I just hate TikTok, man. Maybe it's my age, but it's just like- I don't. I love the the dog videos. I could probably stay on there all day watching these dogs. It's, there's only been a few things I like that my kids show me. Maybe you're looking at the same thing, but it's like this guy takes his dog and it's like vibing. It's like doing human shit. <laughs> that I can get behind. It's kind I of haven't creative. seen that, it's but kind of creative. I would love to see that. It's very creative. But the whole dancing shit, I mean, they're literally, uh, all these kids are younger generation. They're doing shit that we used to do to like, I don't know, Rebecca St. James in the mirror or something like that, <laughs> but nobody ever saw it. Hey, remember how uncool we were at the start of this? <laughs> we we're like increasingly becoming less cool by the minute as we bitch <laughs> about young people and their social media. Are you serious right now? Dude, I mean, for real, when we were younger, if you danced or did anything stupid you like that. You did that shit in the privacy of your own home. That's right. You did it in your privacy of your own home. God damn, you didn't make us have to watch That's it. That's right. 
And what about the poor kid who became the Star Wars kid? <laughs> what We talked about this before. Think about this, folks. Yeah. This kid. Now this dude would be driving a Ferrari. For real. But it was like him, like in his class, thought he was by himself, recorded himself with a freaking golf club. Like, <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> it's like now he's a jackass for our generation. Yeah. But if he was here today, oh, my God, he'd be the number one TikToker. Yeah. What can you do, man? Look, we missed our moment in the sun <sighs> you zoomers have it really good okay <laughs> if any zoomers are listening <laughs> thank you first of all <laughs> don't know why probably it's like they want to be somehow connected to antiquity i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but either way i do get it look life fucking sucks it the majority does. of the time and any little bit of escape, any little drop of dopamine you can get, people are just out there like mice in a maze and rats in a cage, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Just just looking for that next little bump, you know? Rest in peace, Jack Palance. Yeah. <laughs> Tango and cash, cash and Tango. <laughs> Uh, but great that, movie if none of y'all seen that especially to you zoomers go watch tango and cash <laughs> <laughs> i don't know you like that uh, chill out peewee peewee <laughs> All Either, right, yeah. we're done reminiscing as old geezers, okay? Yeah, RXL 209's wearing this, and then probably some cool 40s to 50-year-old dude. Yeah. Probably looks like John Hamm. Yeah. Probably pull it off. Yep, there you go. Okay. Okay, skip it. Sample it. Buy it. What are you going to do, Ryan? Man, I would say, God, it's at least it's definitely a sample. You got to experience something like this once in your life. Yeah. And it's getting a little easier to the nostrils. <laughs> it, I, on my skin, it smells pretty good. I tell you what, if you follow us on Instagram, we're going to make a post about this. <laughs> go, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> If you want some of this gray flannel, we'll make a post. You just comment in the comment section that you want a decan. We'll send you a five mil decan of this. Comment in and then we'll reply and say, okay, you're getting one. Email us your address. And as long as you don't live in the Arctic Circle somewhere, <laughs> we'll get you some of this to try out. Look, by the time we bottle this up and ship out a five mil sample, it will cost us probably 15 bottles of this stuff to get it out to you. <laughs> but we don't mind doing it because it's an interesting one. And yeah. if your vibe is kind of old school, kind of rugged, then hit us up. We'll give you, I mean, I got four ounces of it, so <laughs> we're happy to share. <laughs> well, you didn't really answer it. Is it something that you would sample or is it a- I was just tacking that on there. Okay. But would you sample it or is it a skip or a buy? I think it is. If you are, I'm going to even say this, mid thirties to 50. Yeah. And beyond, but at least that. If you are a little bit more old school and a little bit more manly, this is definitely a sample. Now, you probably can't sample it because it's so damn cheap just to buy a full bottle of it, but I can't with good conscience tell you to go spend it. So if you do want to sample it, I'll decan out all 120 mil of this bad boy <laughs> for anybody who's dying to sample this. But just know, we're happy to to bear the expense, but it, it probably needs to be a fragrance that you would actually consider wearing. If you like the Neroli Portofinos, this is less citrusy. If you like the old school, like Ryan, the Giorgio Beverly Hills and stuff like that, <laughs> if you're down with that, Bill S., we need to send this one to you. If you haven't tried it, I bet you'd like it. Yeah. That Dior Jewels type vibe. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to sample this, you don't want to spend the money, hit us up on this post and I promise you we'll send you a decant. All right. There you go. Anywhere from mid thirties to Crypt Keeper. We got <laughs> this. <laughs> well, that's today's episode. RXL 209. We really hope we made your millennia with this. Yeah. You requested us try this and I don't know if you're trolling us. I don't know if you were throwing us a serious bone. But either way, this was an interesting fragrance, 100%. It was. So thank you for telling us to get on the ball on this one. Sorry it took so long. And to everybody else, if you want to help the podcast, mm -hmm. you want to do good in the world, you want to make sure these two flamboyant geezers do something better with their life. <laughs> it's free. Yeah. All you got to do is go to Spotify or Apple Music. Leave us a five-star review. Yep. Tell Google. Us you listen yeah. to Google Podcasts. We know there's like eight or nine of you out there doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave us a five-star review. That's been pushing the podcast. We've seen a huge growth. 
And for the first time, we were going, I think we need to keep this thing going. This morning, we were talking about that. Yeah, we were. And we have a year pretty much to revisit this conversation. But as it stands right now, trajectory being what it is, if it continues to grow like this, this is something that we could foreseeable future kind of keep going with this thing at one episode a week. So if you like that, you really do want to help us kind of hit that, just shoot us a review. All right, everybody. And until next time, spray it up, y'all! I don't know what possessed me to do that.